Howdy friends. Now this is a still from iPet Goat 2, the cartoon. And this here is George Jellyspine Bush Jr. The man that hid in a classroom while his nation was being terrorized. The commander in chief of the military that presumably assumed that terrorists wouldn't target a school full of children. That's the only reason I can think that Jelly Spine was so actionless. So let's take a look at the chalkboard. So let's take a quick look at this. Now this, I'm a bit of a crossword buff. So this has sort of been playing on my mind quite a bit. Um, a lot of people think it's evolution. Well, if it was evolution, the O we have here would also be put in here, evolution. So we don't think it's evolution unless there's a cheat going on. And we have a capital L. Now a lot of people think it's something love backwards. Capital T, that would be the beginning of a uh, another word, the same as uh, capital L is beginning of a word. I don't really think it's that. I've gone through a lot and I can't really come up with anything. It could be, it can't be anything with an O, I was thinking not to love. But we've got a T, so that would be a T. So it can't be anything like that. i got a feeling that there's a break here and a break here possibly a break here and the word reads that way or this or the phrase reads that way okay and I'll just show you what I've actually found as a possibility that t basically ties in with the times we're in okay Okay, so this is Jelly Spine pointing at his dunce's cap, which he wears with pride. And the reason I've got this still is for the poster at the top, and we'll have a closer look at that now. Okay, so what we've got here appears to be based on Darwin's theory of evolution. It starts out as a um, kipper. We move on to being a monkey or an ape. The walks with a hunchback, all on all fours. It then evolves into an upright standing monkey. Then evolves into an upright standing monkey that has a weapon. We've got a probably a thick branch here, a club. Mm, in the club then evolve into a spear which might indicate being able to manipulate metal okay and then when we become man we have what I would presume to be a gun and then we come to a wall, the end of an age. If we leap over the wall, we then have the next stage of human evolution. Now this can be symbolic of a few things, uh, sun worship, sun god, paganism, Apollyon, uh, the ritualistic worshipping of God's creation, the sun. And bearing in mind the fact that we've got the evolution of weapons, this could be well 
indicative of something like 5G Wiz, perhaps, or some other mind altering weapon. So, uh, this is the next stage, I think. This is, cru this is a crucial barrier here. And this here, I feel is very symbolic of a specific time when this barrier here will be broken. And we move into this phase, and it's not far off. We've got Agenda 21 to look forward to, so perhaps next year. And I feel this is crucial, and I've got, I'll do another video, a separate video on what I think this might be alluding to. Okay, so that's the theory of evolution. According to the weapons industry and the control freaks. Okay, so this is a still of the morph from Jelly Spine to stage name, Barack Obama, AKA B.O. or as Aaron from Exalted Lamb, one of my favorite decipherers of Gematria and I Pet Goat 2 calls him Stinky B.O. So, Let's take a quick look at the chalkboard. Okay, so this is the chalkboard when B.O. was in the classroom. What we have here is somebody holding a flag. They're being hung. They're not dead yet. They've still got a leg to stand on. And they're waving a white flag. Surrender. And here we have raised arms and a head. This is indicative of surrender. Perhaps somebody being threatened with a gun or a syringe. Not a leg to stand on. That is raised hands. And we carry this line down. Bisects there. That's the L. That would bisect that. That would make that a separate word. And that would bisect there with a bit of artistic license. That would make that a separate word and the L and the space in between that would make that a separate word do you see it finally we're on Google Translate and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type it in base language here is Latin and translate into English I'm going to type it in as it's written we have space presumably two spaces N okay now what I think it is, is space, A, so we have here ages, this is what I think it's all alluding to, and here I'm going with what I think it is somewhere along the lines of that Rages Turner 
So currently, I, I guess we're now on the eve, year-wise, of the turn of the ages. Okay, I've gone through a lot of different letters. That can't be an E, an I. No, still largest. Still, we still got turning. O can't be an O. U. No. So it's going to be an A. We'll try that with a small N. Ages turn. So that's an ages turner. I've got a couple of or a few different options here that quite um, made me smile let's just play around with this fly in this is ages trans that's a bit of a, a current Gender agenda. We've got train, so we've got an ages trip. And train with a lowercase is ages trinity. So that's not the way it's written out though. This is the way that's written out. So we have ages. And I actually think. That it's. Turn. Turn of ages. Okay. At the end of the day. We know that's what it is. This is. The age ender agenda 21 is age ender. Done. Done. Okay. Turn of the age. All right, friends. If you've got any ideas, I'll leave a link to this translating machine here. Um, but this is it, this is it, Agenda 21, as soon as that, we know what to expect, we know the weapons they've got, we know what their agenda is, we know exactly what they're trying to do, will they succeed? I don't think so, personally, I don't think so, we're, we're governed by idiots, there's no intelligence in governance these days. Stupid people. Stupid people that think they can fool everyone. And the way they're rolling out these agendas, it's obvious. It's obvious. So I think probably... This is their finest weapon. Okay. Yeah.
5G Wiz. 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 5G W